Hey guys, long time. Hasn't really been much going on with Apple, so haven't had much to post about, but today I'd like to talk to you about something actually exciting. Coming from Samsung, the Galaxy S10, which will be replacing the S9 later next year, is going to be such a revolutionary and big change to the smartphone. It's gonna completely leave Apple in the dust in terms of technology. So don't get me wrong, the new iPhones are great and everything, but they're not really great innovations. They're just small improvements to something that was already great. The Galaxy Galaxy S10 is looking to change that. It's going to be a night and day difference from the Galaxy S9, one of the biggest leaps in smartphones to date, and I don't think we'll see one this big for a very long time afterwards. So let's talk about what's gonna change everything we know about the Galaxy S10 and which ways it's gonna dominate Apple with. So I'd like to start by saying the designs that we're portraying in our concepts are all prone to change. Actually, this is what happened. We would design a smartphone, model it, render it. Next thing you know, there's a news article that, oh, this is gonna change. This is not gonna be this way. So first off, we had a headphone jack. There's rumored now not to be a headphone jack. We had a triple lens set up in a vertical orientation. Now it's rumored to be horizontal. We had a notch at one point. We had cameras on opposite sides, just like a bunch of stuff. So this really gives you the scope of how much the Galaxy is going to change next year. There's truly going to be a lot of change. So I wanted to start with the lineup in general. Samsung is seeing what Apple is doing with the iPhones, the iPhone XR, XS, XS Max, and they'll actually be splitting up their lineup in a very similar setup. So there's rumored to be the Galaxy S10, the S10 Plus, and then an all new cheap sort of budget and model to compete with the iPhone XR. So there will be three sizes of the new Galaxy S10 series. And internally, these devices are codenamed the Beyond Zero, Beyond One, and Beyond Two. Now, as far as display sizes go, there will be just two, 5.8 inches and 6.2 on the Galaxy S10 Plus. Both the S10 and the cheaper XR competitor will have a 5.8 inch display. So what this means is that the phone will actually be getting smaller, and that's because of a design change. You may have heard or seen around the internet there's a lot of talk about the Galaxy finally going bezel-less. So the chin area and up top, the notch will all be gone. Well, there's no notch. I mean, just this bezel area up here, it'll all be eliminated for a uniform all-screen design. How can Samsung be achieving this ahead of Apple? Apple has this crazy amount of resources, crazy amount of R&D, but yet Samsung's delivering on that first. And I think that that's gonna be so great for them sales-wise, just pushing the technology envelope forward. Before I delve deeper into that design change, wanted to mention some materials and colors. So the Galaxy S10 will now have four colors. And of course, most of these are limited to regions. So in America, we may just get two, a black and a white option. And I'll tell you about why in a second. The other colors are rumored to be yellow and green. So like a deep sea green that we've seen on other devices. Now the reason we might have just white and black in the US is because of a ceramic back. So Samsung putting that into their phones could certainly change things up, although it would be limited to a white and black color. Okay, so moving on to that design, I think the biggest thing the Galaxy S10 has going for it actually means a lot of change in many areas on the phone. Now, because you're not having any more of those bezels on the top or bottom, that means things do have to change with the iris scanning, with the way you unlock your phone, with the earpiece itself, and really there's gonna be some huge shifts here. So this is what the Galaxy S10 is actually going to look like. There's going to be a camera on the left side. This is the Infinity O display that Samsung actually demoed at their event just recently. There were a variety of displays Displays, and this is the one that they have chosen to release with the Galaxy S10. So that it'll be a little tiny camera up in the top left area of the Galaxy. So we actually rendered it on the right in some of our scenes. Don't let that fool you. It will be on the left side, although it's rumored that there may be a dual lens setup on the top end S10 Plus. So it's possible that there could be one on both sides, although I do not see them doing that ever. And ET News is reporting that Samsung has begun development of the Infinity O display with a launch time frame between December and March of 2019. So it's something certainly possible. They have the technology to do it. So it's very likely we will be seeing it on the new Galaxy S10 series. Now the budget and model, the 10R competitor, I personally don't see why Samsung's even doing it. It's not doing so well for Apple, not many great sales. Pricing is too high, but I guess if the pricing is right, they could do pretty well on it. It will not have a curved display. So it'll be flat. It'll not have an embedded fingerprint sensor like the S10 series. So it'll probably make do with one on the back, similar to the setup on the S9 it'll definitely be more of a budget ended model. And to give you an early look of this display, there are many first looks. Now the actual display is rumored to happen on an A8 S series device from Samsung before the Galaxy S10. So that'll give us an early look at this technology. There have also been a lot of screen protector leaks of the Galaxy S10, which shows a completely bezel-less design with just a little tiny notch up 
up top on the screen protector for the airpiece itself. So it's probably gonna be a very condensed little tiny unit up towards the top. There's also rumor that there won't be a headphone jack. For whatever reason, Samsung will be joining the ranks of all these smartphones that don't have one. Likely just to free up some extra space inside of the device for other things, more battery capacity or whatever. So it finally may be time to let go of the headphone jack. Although I feel like it would be such a legend if it finally pulled through with one and all that new technology as well. And because of this huge design change to the Galaxy S10, you're gonna have to fundamentally unlock it in a completely different way. And what way makes more sense than an under the screen fingerprint sensor using ultrasonic technology, not the standard optical technology that uh, is currently being used on many smartphones. It's not the fastest, of course, compared to traditional fingerprint sensors. So Samsung will be taking ultrasonic technology, introducing it to the Galaxy S10, and the speed improvements will clearly be above all the competitors. And comparing it to Face ID or Facial Unlock, it truly will be the number one winner in terms of convenience and speed. And it's rumored because of the design limitations, iris scanning will no longer be happening on the Galaxy S10. Of course, it's being replaced with the ultrasonic fingerprint sensor in the display. Now, there was a rumor earlier that the Galaxy S10 would not have an earpiece, that the the screen itself would emit the sound, much like many of Xiaomi's recent phones, but in terms of quality, that's not always the best solution. And the screen protectors that have leaked do have a little cutout for an earpiece right in between the screen and the actual metal borders. So that's most likely what Samsung is going to be doing so as to not sacrifice any of the sound quality. And taking a look at the back of the Galaxy S10, so most recently we've learned that it'll be a horizontal setup. They no longer need a fingerprint sensor, so it'll be easier just to optimize in a horizontal triple lens camera camera layout, and yes, it's rumored that the Galaxy S10 Plus series will have triple lenses. A third lens will be added to make 3D scanning of objects easier, more realistic AR, and this will be a 16 megapixel camera with a 120 degree ultra wide angle lens. And earlier reports did say that the front camera will actually be a dual camera setup. So instead of just having one, there might be two side by side or on opposite sides of the screen. I personally don't see there being an elegant way to incorporate two cameras without having a bezel area so I don't know how that's going to be if that's even true but it's very likely there will be just one camera on the front and I'd like to talk about that for a moment would you guys like to have a camera up there instead of a notch uh, like the s10 will have just floating off in the middle of the screen off to the side or would you rather have it be in the front just a little tiny camera up there I really don't know if it's the right way to do it I guess you don't have a notch with it anymore but now you have this annoying little speck hanging out in the corner of your display so what's going to be powering this beast the snapdragon 8150 processor. It's rumored to be releasing early December and it will be an octa-core processor very similar to the new Exynos 9820 processor. So one core will be the strongest at 2.8 gigahertz, uh, 2.842 to be exact. Then there will be three cores at 2.4 gigahertz and four cores at 1.8 gigahertz, almost. It'll be a seven nanometer processor, not as capable as Apple's A12 to be exact, but not too far behind it. Leaked Geekbenches show a 3500 single core Core score with a 10,608 multi-core score. So this thing just barely outpaces the Apple A11, still far behind the Apple A12 in terms of single core scores. And here's where things get really interesting. There's a possible fourth device that Samsung may be releasing later on, which will be like the high-end halo model of the Samsung phones. It's supposed to have a 6.7 inch display, again, all screen. It might incorporate 5G technology. It would be called the Beyond X and it would have six cameras overall. So two on the front and four on the back. Just an all out, how much technology can we possibly pack into one phone and make it the best and greatest device ever, even if not a lot of people buy it. Expect this thing to cost a lot if it does come out, but it seems more of a concept device than reality. Although the rumors do say that it will be releasing. And something interesting I wanted to mention is the new Samsung One UI, likely shipping with the new Galaxy S10 devices. So it's Samsung's take on a completely clean and stock looking skin for Android that removes any clutter, any distractions, and just gives you a very clean and fresh perspective on Android. I think Apple should make a very similar mode. It's really cool actually looking at the advantages of it, basically simplify your setup overall. And when it comes to prices, it's very hard to say, but you can expect Samsung for the same device from Apple's end to be at the price or $100 or less. And that's in Samsung's fashion. They always like to undercut Apple just a little bit. And as for release date, the Korea Herald is saying that Samsung is eyeing a January release at CES. So releasing this thing possibly a month to a month and a half in advance of last year's Galaxy S9. I guess that'd be pretty cool. So there it is, the Galaxy S10, everything we currently know about it. 
I personally do appreciate and like the idea of a camera cutout off to the side, not a notch. Certainly a fresh perspective, fresh take on this. And the device in general is going to be so sleek as most galaxies usually are. The first truly full screen phone that's mainstream and everyone can buy almost immediately. And there it is, the Galaxy S10. So let me know what you think. Personally, I love it. And I hope that it forces Apple to update their iPhone design to make it just as sleek. Uh, you know, this is competition and it's always good in the mobile smartphone game. So as soon as Apple slows down, Samsung picks up the slack, it'll certainly force Apple to start thinking big again. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Something different and I'll be back at it with the Apple videos here soon. Peace.